Welcome back. Now, a video has gone viral on social media of Limpopo Health MEC Popira Matuba. She was addressing a Zimbabwean patient at a public hospital. Uh, Ramatuba tells the undocumented foreign national the influx of Zimbabweans in burdening the health system. There's been mixed reaction to the MEC's remarks, but she joins us now live to discuss this and clear things up for us. MEC, thank you very much for your time here on All Angles. Are you xenophobic? Uh, good after, afternoon and afternoon to all your viewers. No, I'm not xenophobic. Mm. Not Don't at you... all. Um, I, I, can, I can tell you, uh, of course, there are people who are taking adv uh, and, uh, this advantage of this situation and are bringing the xenophobic, uh, 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 you know, notion on it. But let me be clear with you from the beginning. Mm. Uh, I work with a lot of our African nationals. If you go and check us, the work speaks for itself. On Africa Day, we celebrated, I'm the one who celebrated our African uh, nationals who were, who some of them are professional doctors, some of them are all, all who are contributing, who are here in the country legally, who are count, build, contributing towards building our country. But of course, I must indicate to say, we cannot promote wrong things to happen. When you are here illegally, it is affecting us. And as the Department of Health, we've become a victim of the illegal immigrants in the country. So mm. let me be re reassure you, I am not xenophobic at all. Mm. And the remarks that you made, don't you think those spark some xenophobic sentiments or undertones? They do not spark. Uh, if a European was there in the country uh, being operated without documents, I would have still indicated that let's implement the constitution of the country. Uh, what is currently happening is that every South African or every citizen, whether South African or not, in terms of Section 27, you are entitled to emergency health care services. Mm. meaning we can never uh, chase you away. But here is the situation we're in. We're a rural province. We do not have resources. We have got a huge surgical backlog. We had to come up with this innovative idea of trying to clear the surgical backlog. We went all out to recruit specialists from outside the province to come and donate their weekends. In the province, most of them taking advantage that they originate from the province to say, help us to clear this surgical backlog. Mm. But the challenge that we are facing is that for the two years that we've been doing this rural health matters project, we have operated more than 4,700 patients, but we are failing to see the results because the project is being hijacked by illegal foreign nationals who come to the country illegally the moment they hear us announcing that we are bringing specialists to the province they then come illegally and they they because when you are an elective procedure we don't try it you as p1 p2 first come first serve so they become first patients and you must understand that the clinicians who are the doctors will never refuse to operate patients and they will use the first come first step. Mm. But then they come to me and complain to say, MEC, the vision that you have of trying to clear the surgical backlog in our province, we are not winning because of the influx of people abusing the current system. So mm. this is one of the patients who has abuse the current system because she's not an emergency. She was coming for an elective procedure. Mm. Uh, MEC, I don't think any of the South Africans are uh, basically, um, you know, arguing with you on the point that uh, um, you cannot be in any country in the world illegally and that you have to have documentation so that the country knows that you are there. The question is whether it was necessary for you to do it in full view of other people in that way, knowing that you are being recorded and use words such as go back to Mnangagwa. I don't think I ever use the word go back to Mnangagwa. I have simple set, and I must clarify. I think the team can play you it for see, you um, if they do have you, it, uh, MEC.
I, I will I will I will clarify what I've said. I said there, and I will tell you why I said what I said. Uh, the census, when it counts Limpopo citizens, they come roughly to around 5.7 million. 90%, 91% of those do not have medical aid. And I can tell you the situation is worse after COVID-19 and people lost their jobs. Less than 9% are dependent on the private health care. Now, we are not counting the other 2 million who we don't know where they are coming from. The budget that I'm given by the national government talks to this 91% of 5.7 million. Your president, Mnangagu, is not assisting. And I'm saying this out of frustration because the former minister of health has been raising this matter of billing mm. Uh, the countries because it's not a provincial really mandate. We've been trying very hard for us to reach this level. It's because our counterparts have not been coming on board. And the problem here, what I see, is that when it comes to bringing patients in private hospitals, our SADC countries are paying. But when they bring, when millions of patients were treating in the public, they are not paying. And it's still the same media that says the public health care has collapsed, it's on its knees. But some of these issues are, we are treating millions of patients who are not budgeted for, who mm. we cannot account for. And when I buy, it, you know, when I was talking to the patient, the frustration is come and interview our nurses around mm. the province. You go to Mupani, they will tell you that illegal foreign nationals will move from one clinic to another. Mm. collecting either ARVs or, or contraceptive. They go back right, with more see. than 30 pack to mm. sell the treatment. That, so that is abuse of the system. And of that course, I think saying. a lot of South Africans agree with you on that part because anybody is supposed to go to any country legally. Even if I had to go anywhere else, I'd, I'd have to go there with documents. I think people just had uh, an issue with the tone. And actually what you said was you were supposed to be with Mnangagwa. But uh, MEC, I, I'd like to have this conversation with you another time. I've just run out of time because it's a very interesting one. Obviously also invite the likes of uh, Minister Arun Mutswale, who takes, uh, who is at the Home Affairs Department after being with health because this is a very important subject and I think of course they should be paying uh, there should be uh, a payment uh, for the services but it's about the tone you use and how it's also government it's also partly government's fault that we find ourselves in this situation thank you very much uh, for speaking to us Dr. T Poppy Ramatuba she's the MEC of health in the Limpopo province all right let's take you